Question number 116. Between which of the two phases of cell cycle of an animal cell, duplication of centriole occurs? Duplication of centriole occurs in the S phase. If you see the phases of cell cycle, that is G1, S, G2 phases, which constitute the interphase, and this is the M phase. So, in this particular phase, centriole duplication occurs, and this is the phase between the G1 and the G2. So, M and G1, no. G2 and M, no. G1 and G2, yes. S and M, no. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 117. Arrange the different processes in correct order that occur in prophase 1 and choose the option accordingly. Here, there are some phases of the prophase 1. You have to choose the order in which they occur. Dissolution of synaptonemal complex. It occurs in diplotein. Formation of recombination nodule. It occurs in pacotene. Assembly of meiotic spindle at poles. It occurs in dikinesis. And the last one is synapses of homologous chromosomes. It occurs in zygotene. So, you have to arrange them in an order now. You may be remembering about the sequence. Prophase 1 has 5 substages and they are leptotene, zygotene, pacotene, diplotene and dikinesis. Now, you can number them. Zygotene, it is the second stage. So, here, zygotene occurs first. It means, let's start with the fourth. So, option number three and two are ruled out. This is fourth one. And then, after zygotene, this is pacotene. So, pacotene is second. And here, Option number 4 is also ruled out because after 4th, 2nd comes in the first option only and then 1st which is diplotein and then dikinesis. So, the sequence will be 4th, 2nd, 1st and 3rd. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 118. In which of the following aspects anaphase of mitosis is similar to anaphase 2? In anaphase of mitosis and in anaphase 2, there is a splitting of the centromere. What about the anaphase 1? In anaphase 1, there is separation of the homologous chromosomes, but there is no splitting of the centromere. Now, occurrence in both haploid as well as diploid cells? No. Anaphase 2 occurs in haploid cells, whereas anaphase of mitosis occurs in the diploid cells. Separation of homologous chromosomes in prophase 1. Third, splitting of centromere is common for both. Formation of two metaphasic plates occurs in the metaphase, that is metaphase 1. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 119, read the following statements and select the option which is true for them. Statement 1, porins are proteins that form pores in the mitochondrial membranes and allow ribosomes to pass through it. Porins are the proteins that form the pores in the mitochondrial membrane. It is true, but these porins or the pores do not allow ribosomes to pass through it. They allow water molecules to pass through it. So, this is incorrect. Second statement says that in facilitated diffusion, proteins in the membrane help to cross the substance with expenditure of ATP. This is not true. The facilitated diffusion, it is a type of simple diffusion in terms of the energy requirement means it's a passive transport. It does not require energy. So, this is also incorrect. So, both statements are incorrect. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 120. Pressure potential of three adjacent cells A, B and C are seen but their solute potentials are minus 7, minus 12 and minus 5 bars respectively. Which statement regarding these cells would be incorrect? Here if we consider cell A, B and C, what about their pressure potential? Psi P is 
same we can consider here one bar psi p for b one psi p for c it is also one bar now the value of psi is given psi s is minus 7 psi s is minus 12 and here psi s is minus 5 now you can go for the value of psi w please calculate psi w will be minus 6 why because psi w is psi s plus psi p this is the value for psi w so minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 here minus 12 plus 1 it is the minus 11 and here psi w will be minus 4 which has maximum water potential it is the cell c because in the negative value which is the least shows the maximum water potential so minus 4 is the maximum water potential followed by minus 6 and then minus 11 so cell b has a least water potential now go for the options first option water molecules will move from cell c to cell a cell c it has maximum water potential and water can move to cell a or the cell b it is correct second option solution in cell a is more concentrate than that of cell b no it is least concentrated because it has more water potential solution of cell b is maximally concentrated so this is incorrect c third option water potential in cell a is more negative than in cell c yes here you can see water potential of cell a is more negative as compared to the cell C because for A it is minus 6 and for C it is minus 4. It is correct. Fourth one, water potential of cell B will increase until the equilibrium is maintained. Yes, because the water potential of cell B is minus 11, it will increase as the adjacent cells have more water potential as compared to this cell until the equilibrium is maintained it is also correct so the correct option for the given question is option number two as this is the incorrect statement let's move to the next question mm -hmm.